welcome to At Home with APS. I'm your favorite, Miss Martindale, and this is your favorite, Miss Garcia. Hi, guys. Hi, Ms. everyone. Yeah, Mr. Ramirez is somewhere off doing some exciting things. He'll he will be joining us shortly. Yes, I hear he has something very exciting for all of us today. I hope so. I hope so. Yeah. Um, hey. This is our essential question. We always have an essential question that guides our learning throughout the lesson. And today it says, how can we integrate what we have learned into something that teaches others? Hmm. I don't know. What can we do? I know. <laughs> play games. Yes. Let's play some games. Um, before we do, let's talk about, um, do you remember when Miss Martindale would always remind you, hey, we have our two column notes for a reason. Or when I would say, this is your resource tool. Or when Mr. R would say, you know, make sure you have these to go back whenever you need them. Do you remember? I do. I do. What because do I still have my notes. I have them in a little folder. Um, and I've been going over them each day because I knew Mr. R is a sneaky teacher mm -hmm. and he was going to test me somehow. Yeah, he likes to put learning in a fun way together to make sure he, you know, sees our learning and we could show our thinking in creative ways. So if you have your one pagers, if you have your notes, if you have any um, notebooks put together, your, uh, the squiggle notes, mm -hmm. get all that stuff out because you're going to need them today. And then what you will also need for our later activity is just a piece of paper, maybe a couple pieces of paper, and a writing utensil, and your brains. Because we are going to show you all out there in TV land how to make a couple <laughs> of really cool games that you can play with family members, or you can teach a younger sibling at home, a younger cousin, somebody. Anybody, yeah. yeah. So let's think back. Let's, let's think together. Our notes or any of our resources that we have mm -hmm. should be kind of, um, we're going to use Mr. R's sneaky tool here. I know what it is, but we'll let him help us out. So remember we went over internet safety? I do. Remember that time? When I do. When you were on your phone trying to buy shoes from a stranger. Did I buy them? No. You know why? Why? Because you taught me a valuable lesson. Right. Can I share a story too? Sure. Go ahead. So my parents like to watch me on TV, and my parents are quite elderly. And oh. right now... Some uh, internet scammers are, are coming out, and they tried to get my parents to, on an email, to go to this website saying that the Amazon account was being used in Florida. Oh. So my, my mom says, guess what, Miss Martindale, well, she calls me Eleanor, she says, I watched out for that, that wolf. Um, and I said, what are you talking about, mom? And she goes, the wolf on the, the chicken, the wolf that was trying to eat the chicken. I didn't answer the email, and I said, Mom, I failed. It was a fox. Wasn't it a fox, or was it a wolf? It was a fox. It okay. Was a sneaky, Anyways, sly fox. Yeah. that's my funny story. How cute. So they learned something my from us. My parents yeah. learned. I was yeah. kind of excited. I hope you at home learned as well, and I love her story, because others are using our tools also, not just kids, grown-ups right. too, just like I did. Right, I and I'm so glad. Yeah. So the next one is growth mindset. Do you remember our lesson on that? That was the time when Mr. R had a fixed mindset, and he was getting Correct. upset because he couldn't get his magnificent thing to show what he was trying to create. He was trying to share with us, and he was getting frustrated, and I think he threw a box at you. He, he, he kind of <laughs> kicked it. I keep saying that. He did it. And I I'm so fast yeah. that it was probably a blur yeah. on the TV. And we learned to breathe in and breathe out. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so in through your nose, out through your mouth. Just kind of that calming effect. Yeah, yeah. So that was with our growth mindset and learning to uh, persevere when you feel like giving up. So right. that's the notes that we took for that day. Uh, the other one was our superheroes. I remember that because I thought that only superheroes were fictional characters like uh, Superwoman, Batman, mm -hmm. Robin, sidekicks. I remember us talking about sidekicks. Mm -hmm. She's one of my favorite sidekicks. She's mine. I think. Yeah. Super cool. Yeah. Superhero. Um, but I learned that there are superheroes all around us. Yeah. 
especially now, we learned about more, and we gave out some shout-outs. Right. And we learned about how we can find superheroes around us. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Um, I know that I went ahead and I thanked my garbage man who was out there. I always waved him, and uh, he always waves back, and he's very happy about that. Mm -hmm. I stay my six feet away, but I don't think he's used to people waving at mm -hmm. him or people being at home, so that's yeah, We did the nice. same thing on one of our walks. Uh, we see delivery um, trucks come by, and we're just waving at everyone, saying, have a good day. And so I think they appreciate that. It makes them feel better. So I, so I hope too. you made your posters or your poems or your notes, and you tape them outside or in a window so if anyone's was coming to see uh, maybe drop off a package or your mail person mm -hmm. then uh, they can see those thank yous yes yeah. uh, oh my favorite one was poetry and more poetry poetry and more poetry Do you yeah. remember the book I was reading hmm do you remember the book I was reading I don't oh my gosh Love That Dog. I don't have my notes. By Sharon Creech. I'm going to have to borrow yours. I'll let you them. borrow my notes. I'm, I'm a good friend. Okay. Yeah. Yay. But make them your own. I remember. Will. I promise. If you need to redo them, just add your own thoughts and mm -hmm. words to those. Uh, I have a lot of feedback from people asking, well, what happened to Jack? Mm -hmm. What was going on with that blue car? And what about that dog? Yeah. Because I, I gave a foreshadowing kind of hint that some, you might have to have some tissues to dry some eyes mm -hmm. if you read the book. Oh, yeah. I remember the story. I remember the book. I couldn't remember the title. So thank you for, for reminding me, especially. Do you remember the, um, the types of poems that we wrote? Uh, alliteration. Alliteration. We had onomatopoeia. Right. Those were some techniques that we used inside of our poems. Sin cane. Sin cane, which I learned is not sin quane, which I've been pronouncing that way <laughs> forever. But we learn together. Yes, we yeah. do. Even teachers make mistakes. Um, the best part of being a teacher, I think, is learning from students and learning from others. Mm -hmm. So we did the sin cane. Um, I think I did another mistake in the haiku when I couldn't figure out how many syllables, or syllable, or syllables. every day yeah. had. Um, I think it depends on how you pronounce it, but we rolled with it, right? Mm -hmm. I think you guys did amazing. What yeah. were some other vocabulary that we used with that poetry? So you said onomatopoeia. We, yeah. You said alliteration. We, the, uh, so the vocabulary is going to be another um, section that we'll play with, but I know we talked about verbs and nouns oh, and, and adjectives. adjectives. Yeah. Jinx, jinx, personal jinx. <gasps> I wish I could pinch Poke so you could owe me a Coke. Oh, Coke Zero. <gasps> yes. Okay, anyways. Um, what were some other ones? I can't um, remember. I don't know. So I hope you have your notes at yeah, home. I'll get my notes, too. Yeah. Do you think we should find our favorite other sidekick? Mr. R. I were, you know what? But this is really bugging me because is it Geo Party or is it G Geo, Geo Party or Party? I, I don't know. So or I hope Mr. R is going to come and, and help us out. I don't know. Yeah, all right. So let's welcome Mr. Star guys. Yay! And now, uh -oh. the wonderful, the magnificent, Mr. R. Camera's that way, Mr. R. Smile big. Yay! Here's to you, my favorite families, and thank you for joining Miss Martindale, Miss Garcia, and myself on today's fourth and fifth grade game. Jeopardy, not to be confused with Jeopardy, which is a licensed trademark game show. Don't use that one. This is Jeopardy. <laughs> Just so you guys know, it is pronounced Jeopardy. And Jeopardy, okay. Jeopardy. Yeah. And Do you realize this is the first time all three of us are on stage? Wow. Six feet apart. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, maybe okay. we should scoot over a little bit more. Okay, how's Sorry. that? Let's see. Okay, good. Okay, good. All right. But even here on this stage, we can practice social distancing, which is very important to keep everyone at home and at on stage, safe, correct? Correct. correct. Well, Do I win a prize now? I know, we're already getting the answer <laughs> right. Oh, I, I need to explain how the okay. game works. Okay, uh, But first, I do need to apologize for our little friend over here who okay. is signing and probably doesn't have a word for Jeopardy. I'm so sorry. Uh, that being said, so this is how it's going to work. In the game of Jeopardy, you are going to choose one of the six categories on the game board. When you choose that category, you're going to choose a point value. 
Okay. Now, as you can see, there yes. are 100 points, 200 points, 300 points, 400 points, 500 points, and I'm going to tell you this right now. There's a super secret blue double point hidden on this board. I'm so competitive. <laughs> okay. So when you choose the point, you and you, uh, I will ask a question to both of you and okay. our favorite families. Okay. I will hold the question up so they can see it. And then whoever raises their hand first will get to answer the question. And if you answer it correctly, you get the points. If you answer it incorrectly, though, the other person gets a chance to get the points. Okay. So, does that all make sense? Yes, yes. ma'am. May I use my resource tool, my two-column notes? Now I'm going to tell you this, and I'm going to tell all our favorite families out there. Yes. <laughs> that is exactly why we take notes, to help us to not only remember things, but be able to apply okay. them later on. Yes. May I use my one-pagers? Even better. Another great so resource that you can use to play this game with us and apply to real day life. That being said, are there any more questions? No, let's rock and roll, Mr. R. Okay, so I'm going to stand behind my podium. Okay. And uh, we need to decide who's going first. Rock, paper, scissors? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, wait, oh, wait. wait. You rock, do? paper, scissors, shoot. Ready? Sorry. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Again, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> One last time. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Uh, oh, and okay. there it is. Ms. Garcia, you will get to go first. You get to choose a category and a point value. Now, when you, uh, after I read the question, I am going to ask you to wait to raise your hand until I'm done reading the question. Okay. And then when you do answer it, you are going to answer in the form of a question. For example, if I say uh, white, red, blue, orange, pink, you will not say colors. You would say, what are colors? Okay. Oh, what are examples of colors? Oh, okay. well, that works too. Anyway, you got guys it. ready? We got it. All, All right, right. Miss Garcia, go ahead and choose a category and point valued. I'm going to do internet safety for 300. Wow. Uh, Okay. Here we go. Internet safety for 300. And I'm going to get the question. This is the first person you should tell when you are feeling uncomfortable online. Now, I see Miss Garcia had her hand up first. Miss Garcia? Oh, okay. What is your answer? Who are your parents, grown-ups, adults, or anyone at home? Congratulations, ah, Ms. Garcia. Very good. You are now 300 points richer. Yes. Okay. Well, I was waiting because I wasn't sure if I was supposed to say when I asked the question, like who, the who is part. Oh, okay. And ah. then we can, I can jump in, like the first person who raises their hand can answer, correct? After I'm done reading the okay, question. Okay, I got it. I got it. All right, Ms. Garcia, you got that one. So you get to Good ask talk. the next, or you get to choose the next category. Let's do internet safety for 400. Internet okay. safety for 400. <laughs> this is an important symbol in the corner of a site that shows it if it, if it is safe. <gasps> Miss Martindale had her hand up. Miss Martindale, what is your answer? A blue lock. Ding, 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 ding. Congratulations, Miss Martindale. You get 400. I object. What? Uh-oh. Go ahead, Miss Garcia. <gasps> you, didn't, you didn't answer it in the form of a question. Oh. Uh, you said, what is a blue lock? No, I said, oh. I'll be honest, I said a blue lock. Well, I'm going to go ahead and give you the points this time. Oh, Next time you. they go to Miss Garcia. Yeah, and you're actually on the right pavement. Like, you're going the right direction. So, okay. uh, the lock is in the corner, and you have that correct. Okay, thank you. Um, I blue, appreciate Blue, yellow, I don't know what color they are, but it is a lock, so you are right. right. And okay. remember, I was confused. 
about answering in, in a question form. Okay, I got it. I'm ready to roll. You're so sweet. Thank you. Thank you for being patient with me. Miss Martindale, go ahead and choose the I want to do category. superheroes for 500. <gasps> That's a lot of points. 500. Let me get the question for our favorite families out there. You did a good job. Thank you. I was a little nervous. I know, me too. That's why I didn't do the question. I didn't want to object. Yeah. But you looked at me, and so That's I knew. Okay. <laughs> I realized I did it wrong. Okay, this sorry. is, these are posters, letters, and postcards. Miss Martindale. What are things you could do to thank huh? a real life superhero? Congratulations, Miss <laughs> Martindale. That. that is 500 Sweet. big ones. Oh, I like how you're posting them on your name. I like it too. Okay. okay. Miss Gar oh no, Miss Martindale. Okay. Go ahead and choose the next category. I'm going to do vocabulary for 200. Vocabulary for 200. Let me get the question. An online identification of personal info or information. Oh. Miss Garcia. What is a profile? Ding, 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 Yay. ding. You get 200. Miss Garcia, you get to choose the next category. Ooh, I'm nervous. I don't know. Let's do superheroes for 300. Superheroes 300. Apologize on the delay. Square peanut. Circle, rectangle. Miss Martindale, what is your question? What are the different body shapes you can use to draw a superhero? Ding, 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 ding. Congratulations for 300 you. points. That was tough. I didn't know that one. Really? I, yeah. And I just remember the peanut. The peanut being the hardest. Oh, I remember. And we use that one to draw superheroes. Yes. I forgot my superhero name. All right. Well, you get to choose the next question. Oh, okay. Um, let's do poetry. We have not gotten into that category, Mr. Ramirez. Let's do, I'm a little nervous, poetry for 100. Poetry for 100. Stuck. Kindergartners. Rhyming books and girls. Miss Martindale. Okay, let me try and get this. Uh, kindergartners, rhyming books, and girls. What are things that Mr. R thought, or who are things that Mr. R thought only did poetry? That is correct, oh Miss Martindale. Gosh, Congratulations. Oh my gosh. That is 100 big ones right to you. That was hard to form it into a question. And, and don't forget, that day was the day that I had yet another fixed mindset yeah. about poetry. But thanks to you two, my sidekicks, I really learned and grew. I can tell by, by your, your Geppardy, your Geppardy game. <laughs> That's Good right. Job. It's not trademarked yet. <laughs> yeah. And Miss Martindale, okay. speaking of trademarks, More you get to go. More poetry for 200. Oy. More poetry for 200. <gasps> Miss, Mrs. Sketchberry. Miss Martindale, you <laughs> must have studied for this show. What do you got? And I've read Love That Dog five million times. Who is Jack's teacher in the best book ever, Love That Dog by Sharon Creech? 
And who just won 200 oh, more points? Yeah. This one did, right here. <laughs> Congratulations. And seriously, what a great book. I cried at did the you? very end. Yes. Yes. Bring clean, bring clean, oh, not clean, tissues. Tissues, tissues. Uh, untrademarked. <laughs> All right, you get to choose the next category, Miss Martindale. Um, how about internet safety for 500? Internet Ooh, safety for 500. You've got this, Miss Garcia. I have lost that question. So we'll do this one. Ah, yes. The The online predator who ate irresponsible chicks. The bird. Miss Garcia. Who is the fox? Ding, 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 ding. Or the wolf. Not the wolf, mom and dad. <laughs> Not the wolf. It was a fox. Well, explain the wolf thing to me. My parents got a spam email from Amazon oh. saying that trying to get their information and my mother called me and said, I, I understood your lesson, and I didn't let the wolf get me. Fan. And I was like, what was the wolf, Mom? And oh, she, okay. She thought the wolf was the fox. The fox was the wolf. Oh, okay. Yeah. I get the connection now. Nice. Sorry. No. And you get to choose the next category, Ms. Garcia. Uh, I need to go big. So growth mindset for 500. <gasps> growth mindset for 500. Is going big or going home? Uh-oh. Go Ms. Garcia, <gasps> the blue sticky indicates that this right here is worth double the points. Wow. So let's hope you, whoever gets this question. Uh-oh. I still I, have to ask, answer the question. I'm trying not to be very competitive. So, oh, yeah. 500. Okay. Oh, yeah. So 1,000. How much do I have? Three, five, 10,000. Uh, I only have 1,000. Okay. Here it is. Oh. J.K. Rowling and Michael Jordan. You get to answer it because it was oh. yours. No, whoever raises their oh. hand first. Oh, Miss Garcia. Oh. <laughs> For 1,000 beautiful points. Who are famous failures that we discussed? <gasps> Who just doubled their point value? Miss Garcia did. And you, you know what? I'm going to put a little star on this one just to indicate that it is worth 1,000. Yay. Good job, Miss Garcia. Thank you, thank you. All right. Okay, let's go for poetry for 500. Whoa, going big. Okay. Or going home. Poetry for 500. I haven't had to use my notes. Did you notice that? I've been studying them, so I feel kind of confident. I didn't look at my notes in the beginning, so maybe that's what my problem is. Oh, good job. Next, first, last, and finally. I don't know. I think it might have been a tie. Uh, Ms. Martindale. Okay. <laughs> what are transition words? Sure, for 500. What was the answer? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Can I look at your notes? <laughs> what are transition words for 500 indeed? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You had me scared. I'm glad you answered because I was going to say, like, a sequence order of events. Well, I think that actually might have been, been it. They could have been right, both of us. And you both were right. Thank you. Sorry. That's okay. You get to choose the next category, right. and I'm going to review my notes. All right. We haven't done a lot of 400, so I'm going to go with um, more poetry or 400. Uh, more poetry, indeed. <gasps> oh. Uh-oh. Dun, dun, dun. I'm so nervous I'm pacing. I know. <laughs> okay. In Love That Dog, Miss Martindale read the poem Street Music, which had an example of this term. It gives lifelike qualities to an animal or thing. Miss Martindale. Oh, what is personification? Ding, 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 ding. I remember ding. the street music had vocabulary 
and um, I forget what the other one was, but I just remember it had, it was talking. And that's the one where the words make uh, these things appear lifelike, like they're almost human, right? Correct. Oh, perfect. I almost forgot that one too. Thank you. No, thank you, Miss Martindale. And you get to choose the next question. Let's do growth mindset for 300, Mr. Ramirez. Growth mindset for 300. Okay, growth mindset, growth mindset. Oh, yeah, that's over here. I don't know, this might be it, yeah. Okay. There we go. Not giving up and working towards a solution. Miss Garcia. What is perseverance? <gasps> ding, 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 ding. You pure persevered through that one for 300 persevering <laughs> points. That's good. I was going to say, what is a, a growth mindset? Do you think that could have been the answer too? Actually, having a growth mindset is perseverance, and that answer would have worked as well. Nice. Ah. Nice learning it's almost like a, a synonym. Ooh. Yes, it means the same thing. And that Ooh. goes in your coffee and your pancakes and it's not, cinnamon. it's not cinnamon. I did this last time. It's synonym. Synonym. But you won't forget synonym because you'll think of cinnamon and it'll help you remember what it means. Right. Right. Well, Miss Garcia, you get to choose the next cinnamony topic. <laughs> Let's do vocabulary for three hundred. Oh. <gasps> She chose vocabulary for 300. Yeah. All right. Oh. Ah. Speaking of cinnamon, oh, look at this. <laughs> a synonym for a person who could be a bully or a dangerous stranger on the internet. Oh, you got me. And I think the hand that I saw go up first was you, Miss Garcia. What is a predator or cyber predator? Yes. yes. Congratulations. <laughs> you cyber predated that question. <laughs> and I lost the tape. I think that's good. Okay. Like a cyber predator. Uh, cyber bully. A cyber bully. And it, it really is those people who are targeting uh, your parents. Right. The wolves, but not wolves, foxes. And the one who ate the little chick. Right. Is there another term that we should oh, share? I, or? I can't remember. We used, uh, I know we talked about predator. Uh, no, and a cyber bully was, was there. Uh, okay. No, that works. All right. Okay, uh, well, let's do a couple more questions and then take a break. Ooh, How's okay. that sound? That sounds good. Sounds okay. Perfect. How about four questions? Okay. So let's go ahead and do superheroes for 100. Cool. Superheroes for 100? Yes. All right. I don't need my notes anymore. Uh, I'm feeling lost. confident. I still need a little bit of practice okay. with this one. Here we go. Miss M oh. Me. Miss Martindale believed only these, or they, existed. Miss Martindale. I'm, I'm trying to wait until after you, you Oh, talk, yeah, you got to so wait. I'm sorry. Um, what are fictional superheroes? Yes. Ding, 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 oh, ding. As we learned right. in that lesson, or Miss Martindale did, they're not just fictional. They're real. They're out there. And they're doing the things that we need them to. And you could thank them. By sending postcards, building posters. Chalk on the sidewalk, mm -hmm. letters. Just waving at them. Yep. Well, with that, go ahead and wave us to our next category. Oh, look at that transition. That was nice, Mr. R. Transition I'm going to go for 200 poetry. 200 poetry. Oh, I know that question. Okay. This one probably should have been a 500. Okay. Oy. Dun, dun, we dun. We got this. <clears throat> a poem that follows a five syllable, five, seven syllable, oh no, a five syllable, seven syllable, five syllable pattern and has only three lines. So difficult to read backwards. I saw Miss Garcia. Miss Garcia, what is that poem? I don't know if I'm correct, so I'm going to... This one wasn't in my notes. Uh-oh. Oh. What is a Sincane poem? 
I'm sorry, Miss Garcia. Yeah, okay. I wanted to try it anyways. You know what? You took the risk. I did. I'm so proud of you. You're getting a pony after the show. But not my points, baby. But not her <laughs> points. What is that what poem, Miss Monday? Haiku. Haiku to you. Here are your 200 Haiku points. To you. <laughs> and with that, you get to choose uh, the next. I'm category. going for internet safety 100. I think I lost that question. Let's. Let's find out. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> Oh, I lost the other question. Nobody, nobody call that category okay. until I find it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It scared Miss Martindale and it scared Mr. R. Miss Garcia. Who is Miss Garcia? <laughs> when I was on the phone ordering online? Oh, you scared us indeed. Oh, wow. I would not have gotten that. <laughs> and almost scared me not getting those points. But man, did you pull through, grow from there, and because of that, let me award you 100 beautiful points. Yay. So proud like of you. This. It was me. Ooh. All right, Miss Garcia. One more and then One let's more. call it a break. Okay, growth mindset, 200. Okay. All right, I, growth mindset, 200. Okay, we got this. Do, 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 do. I'm like all tense. I know, me too. I can't stand still. Ooh, we might need a stretch break. Oh, that sounds good. Here we go now. This is the awareness of how a situation or experience affects others. Oh. oh. Miss Martindale. I, I think, but I'm not sure. What is being empathetic or what is empathy? Oh, I am empathizing with you right now, Miss Martindale, because you just won yourself 200 empathetic points. Thank you, Mr. R. Thank you. Good job. Wow. Okay, I can see the tenseness on you guys. Okay, thank you. I think I think we need a stretch break. Uh, do you want me to do some stretching while you guys set up? Sure. Maybe we could do some stretching too. Okay, okay we're gonna do good. a little stretching. How about three stretches, and then we. That sounds good. All right. First stretch I want you to do is your microphone stretch. You ready? Uh-huh. Both hands. Oh. Remember, I broke my arm, so I can't Sing stretch. into the microphone. Stretch that neck. Sing into the microphone. Oh, oh. Potato, potato. Sim cane, sim cane. Oh, I forgot it. All right. We're going to stretch down on three, two, one. Stretch oh. down and muscle. Oh. Turn it in. Muscle, turn it in. Nice. All right, last one we're going to do is the dab stretch. You ready? Dab one. Dab two. My kids taught me this. Ah, well, thank you guys for stretching with me. Oh, I feel a little better. Does that help? Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Hey, uh, Mr. R, can, can we do another little break and, and teach some kids out there some games that they could make? Let's do it. Okay. How's that sound, Miss Garcia? I'm excited. Okay. Um, so this is where, and then we'll come back and play your game. Sounds good, Miss Martindale. Because I want to win. Sorry, I'm sorry, Miss Garcia. I, it's, it's in my blood, this competitive side to me. I know you are, you, yeah, it's okay. All right. <laughs> Anyways, so ladies and gentlemen out there, if you have your piece of paper ready and your pencils, Get those ready so that Ms. Garcia can go over one of the games that she shares with her class. And I would love to learn how to make. Sure. So um, I'm going to share a game, and you as well will share one, correct? Correct. Okay. So boys and girls, if you have a blank sheet of paper, it, what you would want to do is you would want to draw one large square. And then inside that large square, you will draw another square. And then inside that square, you will draw one more. So you will have a total of three squares. Now, in these three squares, the main square in the middle, this is where I put my title and the directions. And yeah. I, I will go over that with That's you That's almost like writing, too. Like you have your first, next, and finally. Correct. Very nice. So sequenced in my transition order of events, my too. transition. Correct. And then, then you can block off as many as you want in the next 
square and in the larger square you can block off some more. Now inside these squares, however many you want to make, you can make these as large as you want or as small as you want, as many questions, it's your game. So what you want to do is ask questions about yourself. For example, what is my favorite hobby? What is my favorite season? Who is my favorite hero? Who is my favorite actor? What is my favorite veggie? What is my favorite snack? When am I grouchy? That's my favorite question. Yeah. <laughs> so whoever you are with can answer them. So here in the directions, you could, these are three different ways to play the game. One way is you can roll dice and write about, diff, write about three different boxes you land on. So you can choose three and then answer those three in a writing. Very cool. Number two is have someone from home pick three to five boxes to answer about you and have a discussion. So I you like can have that. a discussion with someone. Mm -hmm. And then number three, you yourself, you can pick three to five boxes and answer the questions yourself. Then you use your answer to write an autobiography, which is a story about yourself, or a narrative about yourself. So you could use the answers to write a poem mm -hmm. or to write a, sh uh, a short story. Very nice. Yeah. So these questions are all your own. You can ask, what is my favorite? Any kind of question. Or you could say, who is my favorite? Or when was? Anything, as long as it's in question form, just like our game that we've been playing. Yeah. Yeah. And so you work with someone to answer them. So you're playing a game. You're hanging out with someone. Mm -hmm. You're writing. You're having conversation. Or it could be something to do on your own. And you're kind of going back to our essential question. You're teaching them something. Like, when do I cry? Or try and think of some tricky questions, mm -hmm. too. I, I came up with an idea, too, based on your lovely game. A lot of our friends out there know what Flipgrid is. Oh, yes. Can you imagine answering one of these questions and then doing a lesson, a video on Flipgrid? That, that would be great. Yeah. And you can play with someone else at the same time with your right. videos. Right. That would be That's cool. That's great. Are you ready to uh, learn about my game? I can't wait. Actually, I'm going to be honest. Miss Garcia is the one who reminded me about this game that I had totally forgotten about. And it is one of my favorites. And I know you can't see it, but she's going to make her game right here. And I'm going to model it up here. So this is called Twistle. And all you need are, basically, you need four boxes. Do I need a piece of paper? You do need a piece of paper and a writing utensil. Perfect. And what I did to make my four boxes is I just folded these in two fourths. Just like we did with our superhero, um, one of the ways we could do superhero practice your drawing. So when I drew that into fourths, I had four boxes. And I could go, I could divide my paper kind of like this. They don't have to be perfect. And then what I did is I like borders. I love borders. So I made a border like this. Would you like for me to do it at the sure. same time? Sure. Would you like to follow me? Sure. And then inside this, this is my letter box. So I drew some squares. And I really don't care if the squares are perfect. You don't even have to draw squares. You could just draw the letters. But I wanted to be fancy and draw squares. And I drew, I wonder if you can tell me using your array magic. Oops. Let's see. Is it OK, Ms. Martin, though some of my squares are larger than the others? I think that's OK. So I have one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. So four times one, four two, is? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Sixteen? Sixteen. And I'm going to put some letters in there. Hopefully our friends can see. I have P, R, S, O, and a Hopefully at home, you guys and gals are doing this with me. And then you can share it with an adult. So if you want to copy Miss Garcia the letters, my first row has P, R, S, O. 
My second one has E, B, E, F. Perfect. My third row has D, I, T, I. And then my last row has G, Y, T, E. Perfect. So the object of this game is to find words, but the trick is the letters have to connect. So I couldn't say, um, ooh, I found the word beg, B, E, G, because G is not connected to oh, those okay. tiles. So the next step to get people's minds working is to find categories. So in this box, I want you to find three adjectives. In this box, I want you to find five verbs. And in this last one, let's find just five words. That's the easiest. Five more words. How am I doing so far? I Following think it's along. Beautiful. Good job. Thank you. So, let's see. Can we find one adjective in here? So would it be they have to connect? They have to connect and remember an adjective is a word that word that describes a noun. So could we do something like R E D? Yes. Can it connect that way? Yes, it could connect diagonally. So R E D and that is a great adjective. So I will write red. Are there any other ones? S O F T. Ooh, I did not see that one. Good job. The pillow is soft. What is soft? The pillow. The pillow. So I'm going to write soft. Hmm. Are there any other ones? Pretty. 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 Ooh, I see it. P R E. T, T, Y. Wow, Ms. Garcia. You know what I was just thinking? What if you assigned values? So like if you got a two-letter word, it was worth Ooh. 50 points, a three-letter word worth 100, and you could keep the score like that. That yeah, would be that. something you could do to make this game your own. Pretty. How about some, This is super fun. I'm how about so some happy. verbs? Let's see. Five and a verb words. is an action word. What about bite? Bite. B I T E. Ooh. B I T E. Bite. Let's see. Tide? Tide. T I E T I E D. It's kind of backwards. That one's a tough one. Will Good that job. Work? Yes, I tied my shoe. What did you do? I tied it. Tied it. That's an action word. How about fit? Fit. I see it. Can you fit that into the box? I like when we're filming, we say, ready, set, go, set. I see set, S-E-T. That's a good one. That's an easy one. <laughs> I don't get very many points for set. Let's see. Um, I'm could... impressed with this pretty one. That was a tough one. We could do either bet or, let's see. Bet. I... Or bid. Oh, ooh, I like both of them. Let's do bet. I'm going to bid. Bet I'm going to win at Jeopardy. And then we just come up with five more words. So you just go however you want. 
So if you have a younger sibling, I see an easy word, so. So. That's what there's. What? That big, was, big brothers and big sisters yeah, would say. You could even so. do like one point. So you got two points for so, but I got one, two, three, four, five, six points for pretty. What about tied? Tied. Did we already do tied here? No, like uh, tied. T I D E. <gasps> oh, like. that. What is that? A homophone? A homonym? Where they have the same, same word, or they're the same word, but it's spelled differently. Right. Good job. Tied. What about, let's see, can we do names? Sure. <gasps> what about, do you see that B-E-T-T-Y? It looks like Betty. Betty. B-E-T, ooh, good job. And that's a lot of letters, so. A lot of letters. Boom. What about tier? Tier. T-I-E-R. Ooh, like. A tear and a cake. Yes. I like a multi-tiered piece of cake with vanilla, chocolate. Ooh, yum. T-I-E-R. <laughs> One more. Oh, I don't know, Miss Martindale. This has really got me. What about maybe oh, at the oh. end of this game we have a tie? Ooh. And you know what I, I saw? Bed. I need a nap. I want to go to bed. bed. Very cool. So you could make your own form, put any letters. What I would recommend is maybe trying to come up with some of your words first and then scramble the letters in there. And then you could assign points. You could teach your younger sibling beginning letter sounds like Find three words that start with A. Um, find two words that have three letters in them. So think about how you could make this your own. Oh, I love it. Isn't it amazing? This game was super, super fun. And you could play it I'm with anybody like at home. It. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I have another game. <gasps> if you want, do we have time to see another game? I think so. Would we you can, like to see another game? And then we can try and finish a little bit of Jeopardy. Yeah, is that okay with you at home? Yeah, let's All do right. another game. Okay. Come behind you. All right. All righty. Ooh, I love this one. This one is super, super fun. So what you can do at home, and please help me explain it, because I know okay. you love these, and you've done these, too. I have. You have. Has anyone ever played bingo? I have played bingo. Yeah, this is just like bingo. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make one large square and then break it down into smaller squares. So this top part here is where you're going to write a title. So those have its own squares. But then you need to make sure it has one, two, three, four, five squares going down. And then one, two, three, four, five squares going across, just like bingo. And in the center, you could do any design in the middle. I put a heart just because I love doing this and I love you guys. And then inside or all around, you can do any type of questions or any type of activities that have to do with write. writing. Yeah, or writing, yeah. Okay. Do you want to read some that we have maybe to give examples? Can I read the directions? Sure, first? sure. So to complete, you must complete a row of five boxes, either horizontally, vertically, or diagonally. You can play with others at home. The first one to complete five boxes wins. Yeah, you can use anything you have at home. Maybe soda tabs, erasers, oh. uh, marbles, a rock from out front. Nice. Um, a bean, anything that you have that you can use to be your placeholders. Or you could just draw a big X once you've I like this one right here because this goes along with one of our lessons. Write a thank you note to somebody. Yeah. So the idea of the game is you are picking an activity to do, a writing activity to do. Once you complete it, then you can go and cross through or put your game piece there. So if Miss Martindale was to do, um, write a thank you note to somebody, so then she would have that one done. So she's either going to start working this column, uh, this column, okay. or going this way, because she has a free spot in the middle. Right. Yeah. 
So if I was to pick one, like this one, write yeah. a letter to the principal. I was looking at yeah. that one. Write a letter to the principal. So after I write my letter to the principal, then I can come in and draw my X or I can just put my game piece there. I have a question. Yes. What if I wrote a thank you note to my principal? Would I be able to cross off two spaces at once? I don't know. Hmm. See, what I would say is, this is your game. And so at home, oh. if you and your partner agree for it to be fair, then you may. Okay. I would say these are two separate boxes, so you need to write two separate letters. Okay. That's how the rules would okay. probably go at my That's house. That's okay. But That's if, okay. if it's your house, then you I can like... probably... I just think the more writing, the better. Okay. That, that's how I think about it. Okay. But it's very creative because, yes, if you're going to write a note to somebody and say thank you, why not the principal? Right. I know our principal is working so hard. She is. Mrs. Garcia over at Mission Avenue. She is. She's working very hard. We appreciate her. Yeah. And other ones that we have up here, for example, is maybe write a poem with someone at home. Mm -hmm. Have you learned how to write a poem? Yes. You better say yes out yeah. there. So if you already know how to write a poem, this one should be easy. Okay. You want to find another one, maybe? Uh, make a list of your favorite foods, because I do love food. Oh, I do, too. I love yep. food. Yeah. Um, yeah. So what else could we do if we don't have write? What's another word we can think of? How about read? Read. So we can make our own another game, mm -hmm. and then we can say read, and then we could change these boxes to maybe reading a nonfiction, a fiction, maybe a comic, Mm -hmm. Maybe a short story, maybe a novel, chapter book, funny stories. And so once you've completed all those, you can mark off the boxes and play it that way. Right. And also, you know what would be really neat, too, is a lot of students have technology at home. Ah. You could put this on a Google Docs or a Google Slide and just make a, a table Oh, I like that. And insert, and that way you could just keep adding mm -hmm. on, and then you could share it with family members across Ooh, the that. country that are um, connected to your Google yeah. or your email. Share. Yeah. You're sharing. I'm, I, my mind is just going boom, boom with all the things yeah. you could do with and this. And I want to use what Ms. What, with blah, blah, blah. I want to use what, what Ms. Martindale said. What if we also did one with maybe learning a new technology tool? So I know our students at home are learning all these new ways to learn with Google Classroom, mm -hmm. Seesaw, oh. Flipgrid, all these new ways. So maybe if we write learn up here and then we write Google Classroom and Flipgrid and Seesaw, all these different ways to use technology, once you feel like you've learned it or you feel better about it, then maybe you can X it off. Play I, have it that a, way. I have a great idea too. What if, and I challenge students at home to do this, make one for your parents about tech. Ooh, Ask challenge them, your parents. How do you log on to Google Classroom? Yeah. How do you log on to my.aps.edu? How do I get into different platforms? That's a great challenge for your parents. Oh, hi. I need a high five on that one. Yes, I love that one. And then one last one that would be really cool. What if we did one that said draw? <gasps> So maybe Ooh. after the different stories you've been reading, maybe after all the poetry you've been writing, all the lessons you've learned, you can illustrate your own ideas and come up with different things to draw and do it that way. You, that, I mean, I this did not, endless. I would not have thought about all of this. Okay, Ms. Garcia, I see her eyes What about sparkling. parents and families and guardians at home? You could do one that says chores. Oh, <laughs> once you finished your chores. I don't like that one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I would love some help with dishes every now and then. Oh, yeah. So pick, up, pick up my dog's little messes yeah. around the backyard. Vacuum, dishes. I like it. The poop fairy, anything. That is a great yeah. idea. So basically, we've given you three games that you all can make at home. This one has multiple possibilities. We did the How Well Do You Know Me game. These will all be on the APS site um, for you to make. And then my favorite, Twistle. OK? Hope you enjoy. I can't wait to see Mr. R again so that I can try and tie 
or beat Miss Martindale. Thank you for joining us at home with APS.